people said when I rapped, it sounded like a thesis, you know, because I break it down. Uh, my name's Nero. Uh, the streets know me as thesis. I met 12 in nursery school. Uh, he was probably, what, my second friend ever. My name is 12. I was 12 years old when I started making offensive noise that people danced to. These days I really love the fact DJs are no longer just DJs. DJs are artists, the DJs are musicians that are creating original music. I think uh, 12 and I have an, uh, some sort of musical psychic understanding of each other. Like when he makes a beat, it may sound evil and sound all filthy and multi-timbral, eight-dimensional. Multi textured, eight-dimensional. There is a story behind it, you know, and because we've known each other so long, I, I, I think I get that story and we try to make music that brings everyone together in, in the same kind of friendship that we have. We are 12 in Thesis. We are 12 in Thesis and we love electronic music. Deep underground. In a top secret research lab, security has been breached. A deadly virus capable of contaminating the entire world has been released. Welcome to MK Electric, the show that brings you the finest, the finest, and the finest in electronic music from South Africa and the world. This week we're in Joburg with legendary dubstep and breaks crew, 12 and Thesis. We caught up with them in studio to find out more about their signature sound. This is 12 Labs. Welcome to 12 and Thesis Studio. This how we roll. This how we roll against the control. Yeah man, this is the laboratory where you string together our beats, sort of get down, session, come up with ideas, destroy the universe, you know, all those duties that is expected of a musician. In some ways it starts, you know, all over. The idea can start anywhere, on a plane, in a club. Sometimes he'll take something home to his place, to his studio. The, the nice thing is that the process for each song is different and I think that also actually makes the tracks sound different in themselves. Because some tracks, the, the whole beat is written and then I'll come in and, and I'll bring the lyrics in. Sometimes we'll think of something really funny, a uh, really funny concept and then we'll, we'll write the whole song around that. So yeah, each song has its own process. Let's go against the grain. We learned the rules when we learned to play the game. So there's a lot of debates in the dance world about which scene is the best. Is it drum and bass, dubstep or electro? So we've woken up at 7.30 in the morning to come ask some people who really don't care. We invited three random old people to take part in an unbiased test. Three genres, 30 seconds each, and only one can be the winner. This is which genre of electronic music old people hate the least. I'll play you the first song. Monotonous and creative. somebody's having an electronic ball.
Okay, well, there you have it. In third place with a whopping score of three points is Electro. In second place, we have Dubstep with 11 points. And in first place with a massive score of 15, 15 points, points, it's fucking drum and bass. <laughs> So the sun's going down over Joburg, 12 and Thesis have spent the whole day in studio and it's time for us to head off to the woods for the impossible object with voice tag, B team and 12 and Thesis. Hello, we are the B team. Hey, we are the voice tag. You know, our, our favorite time is when we're out, you know? The best, the best thing about the music is seeing people go crazy. That was fucking awesome. I'm partially deaf. I'm feeling really nauseous. Let's go pass the fuck up. See you next time, bitches. Fuck yeah!